Yo, what's up? We are back rolling live at CES in the rolling booth with the Arrowcaster. It is day three. I'm feeling good. It's Saturday. Vibes are high. We came off of a great dinner experience last night. The only day you could do that is here in Las Vegas. But I got a special guest with me today. I got Logan Radio rocks up in the building. What's up, my man? I am so glad to be here. First and foremost, did you get steak and lobster? Did you go winner, winner? Forget about chicken dinner nah. in Las Vegas. They talk about chicken dinner in Vegas all the time. I'll tell you this. If you're a baller, shock caller, yeah. if you want to show Rick Ross who's the bosses, what do you, you do? go winner, winner, steak and lobster for dinner Ooh. each and every single time. Usually I'm a big proponent of getting individuals to go the steak and lobster route. But unfortunately, this time I let the crew decide. And you want to know what the crew decided, tacos. right? Tacos. Nope. Everybody loves tacos. Everybody loves sushi when they come <gasps> to Las Vegas. You know what? I, you, you know what? You're absolutely right. Last time my friends came to Vegas, right. it was let's go to this famous steakhouse. And then day two, it was, right. yo, we're doing sushi. Yeah. Now, where did you go? Did you go to? We went to the Pepper Club. All right. Yeah. So you were peppering in a little bit of that love. It was a little bit of love. And, you know, I'm not a big sushi eater. Yeah. But to be a team player, I think. I tried everything that came out on the plate from Wagyu, from, you know, short rib. You know what they do with those salmon. Wagyu? Salmon. I don't know what they do All with right. any of it. I just they put it in my mouth. They that cow. That is they wild. They feed that cow beer and barley. They tell that cow bedtime stories. That cow lives a happy, happy life. And then that cow feeds you happy, happy beef. Happy beef. So I had a whole bunch of happy beef last night. So I'm feeling good after a great meal last night. So day three, yeah. CES, is this your first time here or? Well, my badge says it's my second year, but that's just because the nice lady who checked me in was like, hey, sweetie, I want you to have a good experience. Maybe this will give you a good conversation with somebody. Hey. But yes, this is my first time. And my first time as a Vegas local to one of these conventions wow. since I've been out here. Uh, absolutely fantastic time. I've spent the last couple of days hanging out here in the rolling booth. Yeah. I got to tell you, there's a lot to do here right. and a lot to learn here as well. Forget about all the fun stuff for your ears, eyes, and your, your uh, emotions even. Uh, just all the people around here coming together and, and in the CES community and being able to learn and become friends in IRL. Right. We're doing all of this becoming friends online, right? Right. But it's such a great adventure to get out of that and to come out here and, and sit down with a cat like yourself in, in real time. It is. It's a little bit it, it, it's a little bit different, right? Because we're back in IRL. We're coming out of a pandemic. Even though I feel like the pandemic was years ago, it feels like we're still talking right. about that, right? So here we are. We're back in real life. You know, what do you think of the differences now that we're getting back and from the pandemic? What do you see as the transition? You know what? It's, it's a lot of transitions, and they're still happening. It's still ongoing, especially in the eSport industry, especially right. within the gaming industry. People trying to find their feet again here. And I think a convention like CES is showing that we can get back to that normality and, and, and find a, 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 a certain amount of peace in coming out to these things and being able to know, hey, we can we can be normal and we can make friends again right. and we can have these these uh, back and forth because relationships no matter how great they are and no matter wh whether they're personal relationships business relationships your boyfriend girlfriend significant others it all has to come to some sort of hands on in real time meeting face to face you can start those relationships online right. you can start dating online right. you can start streaming finding gamers, finding your friends online, but at some point you gotta make that a reality. And that's what CES is all about, bringing people into that reality right here. It really is. And so reality states that you were uh, using our new piece called the Bridgecast, yes. right? So yes. what'd you think of that? All right, this, look, let me just tell you, from a perspective, uh, from a content creator, gamer, esports guy, Look, when you get into streaming world, right, you start out with the bells and whistles, the stuff that's easy to use. You start out with your stream labs, right? right? You start out with a Go XLR. But when you're a professional and you want to get paid every day right. to do this as a living, you got to go to that next level. You got to turn it up to 11. That's and the it. way that you turn it up to 11 was with a bridge cast. And I'm not just saying that. That is not just food for thought. That is not. That is not fake news. That's not fake news. I just used it, and I am old, but they taught an old dog some new tricks. And if I can use it, hey, anybody can use that's it. That's all it's about, right? That's Teach what I'm saying. Teach an old dog new tricks. That's what I'm saying. Man, love that, love that. So 
CES, technology, entertainment, where do you see like the future of technology going? Like after you've experienced all this, what is the future? Because there's so many products running around here, but there has to be one or two that's just like, all took right. your breath away. All right, well there's one, there's a robot here that I think is the most fascinating robot on the face of the planet, I'll tell you why. Yeah. Because this robot was made for two purposes, two purposes only. It takes selfies, Okay. <laughs> and it cares for the elderly. Wow, two things that are very popular now, here. Now, just imagine if wow. it didn't take selfies of the elderly, but only their grandchildren. Uh, I know, there's, there's a ring shot we, in there somewhere. Hey, because all grandparents love pictures of their grandchildren. That's right. That's incredible. So you come from radio, right? I do. I come from radio. I have so, a background in radio and TV. So I saw you're the hype caster for the Inferno for the yeah. eSports team, right? So what does that exactly look like? So are you just the hype on the play-by-play, -play, kind of to right. explain what that looks so, like. Well, here's the thing, is when I come to a broadcast, as a broadcast professional, I'm not worried about the game, I'm worried about bringing my enthusiasm, my energy, my charisma and gravitas, if you will, to each and every single broadcast that I'm a part of. So whether it be Warzone, whether it be Rainbow Six Siege, whether it be Valorant, or all of the other games, those are the active leagues that I'm doing right now. Right. I bring me to the table, and I call it a hype cast because I come from a style where I'm doing me, and me, I'm turned up to 11. Hey. So you know what, if you wanna watch somebody sit in their dorm room uh, eating bagel bites and drinking uh, Mountain Dew Code Red, you can do that, Right. but that's not what I do. I am in this to win this, and I bring the pain, I bring the hype each and every single time. Man. Look. I, I can do the play-by-play -play for Warzone, but mostly I sit back and I, I commentate on, on what I'm seeing in front of me, whether that be adding a little bit of color. I spice the food. Yo, Salt Bay, I got you, bro. You can't go to a soccer game, so I'm here for you. Holding it down at CES. I throw a little bit of that spice all over it. I hear you. You're, I, you're giving me a lot of energy, so I appreciate that, right? Where do you, like, find that energy from where's that inspiration come from do you like wake up like this or yeah i wake that... up like this every morning and it, you know what it is it's honestly i want to be entertaining and i want people to be able to find solace and a little bit of momentary joy in anything that i bring to the table and if i can do that just even if it's one person at a time i can make a difference i'm doing something good i didn't wake up every morning to be boring right. or lethargic i came out here to win it and no one's going to come into your living room and give you a record contract or or give you uh, your next sponsorship for for your streaming setup or whatever it is that you're looking to do if you don't go out there and do it seize the moment if you do hey i may sound like something your mom has hanging in your kitchen right now but my soapbox is real real you heard that real deal Holyfield you heard that one before I have <laughs> and I still have my left ear <laughs> really yeah I do so it's 2023 it is happy new year happy new year back happy at holidays and all that other all great that stuff. Good stuff what's planned 2023 what you got planned all right man well I just moved to Vegas all the way from Connecticut 2700 miles away and I came to get down like a clown like Charlie Brown and turn your frown upside down I'm yeah. here like I said to turn it up to 11. so really what I'm looking to do here is take the esports world by storm I come on a different level obviously and I may not be for everybody yeah. vanilla ice cream is boring and you can have right. it every day but I'm Rocky Road baby I, I might be a little nuts might be a little rocky yeah but you know what but the one thing I can guarantee is it will not be a boring trip. Because yeah, basic and boring is out. You can be basic. Normality is boring and normal. <laughs> <laughs> so we appreciate you coming by yeah. the booth today. I got a special gift for you. No, you didn't I didn't even know that. You I do? didn't even know. Come on now. We no, gifted. I'm serious. Roll in. It's all love. So here oh you go. Oh, my gosh. Something special for you. Yo, what? I don't even know what's in here. Yeah, I know. No That's one why we got to open this. it. No one prepped me for this. There's no such thing as prepping. This is real reaction time, baby. You what would it be like? They would say, there's a dragon on the blade. Yeah. You know what? There's a logo. Oh, there's a logo, everybody. We've got the baby turn logo. Now I don't care for the camera. Use that baby right LBI in the crib. Look, my man put him on right now. Look, but he don't know they noise canceling, so he can't even hear what I'm saying right now. Exactly. Look, he like, what did you say? What did you say? Do you hear me now? 
Oh, good. I hear you now. There we Yo, are. These are really good. I can't wait to use these. Thank you so much, man. Of course. I get to do. I get to hang out with you, do an interview, and I get free stuff. What could be better than that? Thank you, Roland. Merry Christmas. Ha. Logan, tell everybody how they can follow you, where they can find you at, man. It's Logan Radio Rocks, Eric Logan Summit on Twitch, YouTube, and every other social media platform in existence. Make sure you go to the Las Vegas Inferno. Get involved. If you are a local in Las Vegas, you have no excuse not to be coming out to these events. Why? Because if you don't make your world in IRL happen for yourself, somebody else will. Come out and meet cats like this right here, hanging out at the Roland booth at CES in Las Vegas. You heard it here first, rolling live, CES on the couch. We out of here. Peace.